Octaves, of course, pose a special problem for those of you with a small hand. Now, I'm going to imitate somebody with a very small hand by stretching it an eleventh, okay? Right? But look, even at this maximum stretch, my hand is still movable and functional. I can still generate my arch. You know, I can even rotate the middle of my hand. So, if you have a small hand, don't stiffen it and make it feel small. Try to loosen it and increase its functionality. Now, in Dante Sonata, we have this mysterious, lugubrious section of octave melody. To begin, press your whole hand down into the keys. Mash the middle white keys with your, with your palm and then, you see? So that the fingers feel maximally independent from the hand and the hand feels maximally movable. And then shift your hand to the next, relax your arm, drop your elbow, drop everything, and just hyper-relax everything so that your hand feels its inner movability. If you have a small hand, you can practice this with a smaller interval. But it's basically to loosen the hand and to keep the fingers independently moving while you're playing your octaves that we're doing this.